Hey, it's Will. I uh, just want to do a quick video to show people um, kind of what I get whenever I go out panning or rock hounding down at the creeks. People think I'm full of shit uh, when I tell them that you can find actual gemstones here in the creeks uh, in the hilly areas. <clears throat> All the hills from about Mooresville uh, down to Paragon uh, and over uh, Across the river basin there um, into the uh, Morgan Monroe Forestry and Yellowwood State Forest areas uh, you can actually find gemstones and gold uh, in the creeks basically all that material that created those hills are glacial deposits uh, from tens of thousands of years ago uh, when the glaciers formed and they um, basically bulldozed all that material from Canada all the way down uh, here to Indiana. Uh, I have some pieces here of, of quartz and other things. Um, and I've got some particularly clear stones here. Um, I'll try to get you a closer look at them here in a second. Um, but this here is a, is a diamond tester. It's basically basically a conductivity test, a heat conduction test. And it tells you on this readout bar here um, how well the stone absorbs or uh, deflects the heat uh, coming off of the tip of it. So you place, place your tip here and you have a, a readout one through eight. And anything above eight is is a diamond. Uh, sometimes you can get faulty readings on this. It's not perfect. Uh, but anything goes eight or above, um, it's probably in the sapphire area, sapphire and ruby area, and like diamonds. So if, if, if you're getting that high of a read, uh, it's probably likely that it's either a sapphire or if you get a real high uh, read, it's, it's a diamond. Uh, this stone here in particular it's a really clear stone and it looks a lot different from your regular quartz and rose quartz stuff here um, some of these are, are they're not in the best condition like you'll find the diamonds but uh, it's probably likely that they're more of an industrial grade and they're not going to be in the shape of regular raw diamonds they're crushed and like smeared across the landscape from Canada all the way down here. So there's just like pieces. So the glassy pieces that you find are probably a good chance that they're going to be uh, in the diamond range or sapphire ruby range. Most of them that I have found have been like a, from a brown all the way to a clear, uh, sometime a pinkish type stone. And very very few of them are going to be able to be cut, but sometimes you might get lucky, like this round one right here. Um, it's a really clear one. Uh, looks like it's been smashed pretty good, <laughs> but it's been eroded too over time. Um, but a lot of these, a lot of these stones I find are uh, just industrial grade. They're not very good at all. Um, but I just wanted to give you a quick. Uh, show you that real quick because a lot of people look at me like I'm fucking crazy when I tell them that you can find this stuff here in Indiana. This little piece right here uh, is what they call chromium diopside. It's not a, some of them are gemstone quality but a lot of it you find is not. It's like a green looking stone. It looks like a rock. But basically this is an indicator material that diamonds are in the area. Uh, this stuff comes out of the volcanic uh, uh, shoots formed uh, where the diamonds are usually released. So that's that's a good indicator if you're finding this green chromium diopside stuff that you're going to come out with a few of these uh, a few of these diamonds. I haven't tried it yet. I've just been using regular screens and stuff, but I want to get a Saruka, uh, which is basically a round screen that you can use at... Uh, it's a lot easier than panning, especially for this type of uh, just rock hounding stuff. So I just wanted to give you a, show you that real quick. Uh, 
just to basically prove that I'm not a fucking nutso, uh, and uh, we actually have diamonds here in the state, if you're willing to get out there and look for them.